Hey friend, happy new day of life. I'm so glad you're here. Let's take a break from the rat race and let's spend a few minutes focusing on what matters most, the foundation for wisdom, truth, and life, the living word. This is God's word for September 28th. Ephesians chapter 6 verses 1 through 24 says, Children, obey your parents because you belong to the Lord, for this is the right thing to do. Honor your father and mother. This is the first commandment with a promise. If you honor your father and mother, things will go well for you and you will have a long life on earth. Fathers, do not provoke your children. Fathers, do not provoke your children to anger by the way you treat them. Rather, bring them up with the discipline and instruction that comes from the Lord. Slaves, obey your earthly masters with deep respect and fear. Serve them sincerely as you would serve Christ. Try to please them all the time, not just when they are watching you. As slaves of Christ, do the will of God with all your heart. Work with enthusiasm, as though you are working for the Lord rather than for people. Remember that the Lord will reward each one of us for the good we do, whether we are slaves or free. Masters, treat your slaves in the same way. Don't threaten them. Remember, you both have the same master in heaven, and he has no favorites. A final word, be strong in the Lord, and in his mighty power, put on all of God's armor so that you will be able to stand firm against all strategies of the devil. For we are not fighting against flesh and blood enemies, but against evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world, the unseen world, against mighty powers in this dark world, and against evil spirits in the heavenly places. Therefore, put on every piece of God's armor so you will be able to resist the enemy in the time of evil. Then, after the battle, you will be standing firm, standing firm, stand your ground, Put on the belt of truth and the body of armor of God's righteousness. For shoes put on the peace that comes from the good news so that you will be fully prepared. In addition to all of these, hold up the shield of faith to stop the fiery arrows of the devil. Put on salvation as your helmet and take the sword of the Spirit, the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of of God. Let's go. Pray in the Spirit at all times and on every occasion. Stay alert and be persistent in your prayers for all believers everywhere. And pray for me too. Ask God to give me the right word so I can boldly explain God's mysterious plan. That the good news is for the Jews and Gentiles alike. I am in chains now, still preaching this message as God's ambassador. So pray that I will keep on speaking boldly for him as I should. To bring you up to date, Tychicus will give you a full report about what I am doing and how I am getting along. He is a beloved brother and faithful helper in the Lord's work. I have sent him to you for this very purpose, to let you know how we are doing and to encourage you. Peace be with you, dear brothers and sisters, and may God the Father, our Lord Jesus Christ, give you love with faithfulness. May God's grace be eternally upon all who love our Lord Jesus Christ. That is today's New Testament word, Ephesians chapter 6 verses 1 through 24. Today's psalm is chapter 70 verses 1 through 5, a psalm of David. Please God, rescue me. Come quickly, Lord, and help me. May those who try to kill me be humiliated and put to shame. May those who take delight in my trouble be turned back in disgrace. Let them be horrified by their shame, for they said, Aha, we've got him now. But may all who search for you be filled with joy and gladness in you. May all who search for you, God, be filled with joy and gladness in you. May those who love your salvation repeatedly shout, God is great. But as for me, I am poor and needy. Please hurry to my aid, O God. 
You are my helper and my savior, O Lord, do not delay. That is today's Psalm. Chapter 70, verses 1 through 5. Today's Proverbs, chapter 24, verse 8 says, A person who plans evil will get a reputation as a troublemaker. Proverbs, chapter 24, verse 8. A person who plans evil will get a reputation as a troublemaker. And that is today's word. The living word, the light to our path through this dark and challenging world, just like it talked about today in the New Testament reading, says we are not fighting against flesh and blood. We're fighting against evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world, not what is seen, but what is unseen, against mighty powers in this dark world, in this dark world. This is the light to our path in a dark world. The source of wisdom, truth, and life, all glory and praise to God. Man, may we not take it for granted. May we, you, may we live by it. May we not just hear it. May we actually do what it says. And may we live it out. And may we find life, true life, from, from the source. Let's build our life on it. Let's lay the foundation of our lives on the solid rock. Amen. All right. Thank you for spending some time with me today. I so greatly appreciate it. We'll look forward to seeing you back tomorrow. Let's say a prayer before we close out. Heavenly Father, God, thank you so much for this new, beautiful day of life. God, thank you for everything that you give us. God, you alone are worthy of praise. You alone are worthy of fear, the creator, author, and source of life. God, thank you for your living word that we have access to it, that we can come together and read it and share it and hear from you through your living word, God. We acknowledge you as the one true living God above all things. God, thank you that you are always with us always with us and bigger than anything we face that we can fully rest and trust in you god thank you for life life today life tomorrow life everlasting life to the full we can never thank you enough god for all that you've done for us and all that you still do for us each and every day we love you we praise you we seek you god i pray we give all we are to you we pray your will be done help us to find our life in you above all things i pray god please be with anyone who's hurting or sick right now I just pray for them, God. I pray that they would feel the fullness of your spirit, God. The fullness of your spirit, your power, your victory, your peace, your joy, your patience. God, I just pray that they would feel your presence, God. God, we love you, we praise you, and we seek you. We give all that we are to you. We thank you for this day. Thank you for our life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right, that's it for today. We'll plan to see you back tomorrow. Until then, seek God, find life, and live your life. We'll see you tomorrow.